Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. If you are a truck driver or in the trucking industry at all, this is a very serious warning. But even if you are not in that industry, I want you to listen to this because this shows where the economy is headed. And then I'm gonna try and give you some good ideas of how to avoid this absolute calamity, okay? Right now, and this story is out of CNBC, it's entitled US Manufacturing Orders from China are down 40% in unrelenting demand collapse. Right now, if you are new to this channel, you've never seen it. I've been warning people for two years of an epic collapse in the economies, not only in just our economy in the US, but also abroad, all over the world. The world's economies are collapsing. And I am trying to prepare people for the Great Depression. But 2.0, this is going to be sharp, steep. It's going to be short-lived, but it is going to be a multi-year run. And people need to protect themselves right now and prepare for the future, not only so that they aren't losing their homes and their jobs, but they're also being able to buy up more uh, homes and have even more ability to gain money because they're ready for this. All right, here, right here. Key points. U.S. manufacturing orders in China are down 40% in what a logistics manager described to CNBC as an unrelenting demand collapse. And that is because inflation has key gripped so many people and now it is turning into fear and it is going to cause people to spend less money. All right. Asia-based shipping firm HLS recently told clients in its, it, it is a very bad time for the shipping industry. That was their quote. Chinese factories are shutting down two weeks earlier than usual ahead of the Chinese New Year. But that is not really the story here. I don't, I won't want people to get confused. It says, as the Federal Reserve and other central banks around the world attempt to fight inflation by raising interest rates and cooling the economy, there is a significant risk that a slowdown in demand turns into a recession. First off, I want you to understand we are not going into a recession. We are already in a recession. The government is literally lying to you and they're changing the definition of the word itself. It absolutely blows my mind that most people do not understand what's going on. We are actually going into a full-blown depression worldwide. The currencies are splitting, the economies are splitting, fracturing and splitting, and that is going to absolutely shatter the shipping industry. We are already seeing it. In the last two years, we've seen many, many shipping uh, uh, companies, large shipping companies, freight companies go completely bankrupt, close their doors, walk away. They are seeing, uh, I want people to see the writing on the wall. Now, the trucking industry is a very tight-knit group. And um, I have family members that are truckers. I know how hard it is. And they are the backbone of our economy because they are what bring vital goods and services to our doorstep, right? We need them. The problem is, shipping companies have blown up in the last 10 years. As a matter of fact, just the invention or the the start of the hotshot trucking industry, where anybody could go and buy a three quarter ton or one ton truck, go put a large gooseneck or fifth wheel on the back of their truck and start hauling cars, hauling shipping containers, hauling whatever. Um, to say that that industry came in overnight and just exploded is an understatement. But we're already seeing that completely crater because right now with less goods coming from China to America, that means there is less need for truckers and hotshot truckers. And so what you're seeing now is that trucking freight rates are completely plummeting, whereas we saw the opposite during the shutdown where truck rates spiked because people were just sitting at home buying things on Amazon and there was this absolute explosion in the need for truck drivers and for uh, trucks, right? In a time where a lot of truckers were going, I'm not dealing with all this crap uh, that's going on with all these restrictions and the mass and stuff. I'm just quitting, this is insane. So now we've got the opposite of that. We have less demand for trucks. So what do you do about this? Well, first off, you identify that this is a real issue and you start to do things about it. You start to spend less, you start to realize that, you know what? I may not need that new truck after all. I should be able to keep this one running right now because if I get into a debt, and just remember, this is akin to what happened to the farmers right before the Great Depression. They got into all these huge uh, leases and huge payments on all this new technology, all this new whiz-bang stuff when it came to tractors and implements, and then they couldn't pay the payments on those when the economy turned and people were eating less. I know it sounds crazy, They weren't. there wasn't this uh, overabundance. You'd go, well, how do humans eat less? It actually does happen. During recession, people actually eat less meals. During a depression, they eat a lot less meals because they have less money. They deal with less, they go to cheaper types of foods. And it completely decimated farmers all around the country because they got in too, too expensive. So very 
I caution you, please be very cautious when it comes to taking out new debts, especially when it comes to your business. Um, start to learn how to deal with less right now. Pay off debt, whether it be business debt or your personal debt, because I want you ready with some money on the side and a good credit score that when all this thing, all this craziness happens, that it doesn't happen to you. See, the last thing we need is what happens when the pendulum swings the opposite direction on the low end. During a market route with truckers, if you, if you imagine this, if all of the trucking industries are completely over, uh, the businesses are completely over leveraged and they start to lose their trucks, they're going back to the banks, they're losing uh, their, their businesses, the actual storefronts that they have to do business in, then what happens is we have, literally we lose all truckers. Then the supply chain snaps, it breaks. And then we have very, very serious panic. And we've seen that before when the, in recent times where we had that demand for trucks and truckers um, and we couldn't get items to our local grocery stores or our local home do-it stores, right? But on the pendulum swing down, it's going to be worse. And so my warning is for the, all the truckers out there, and please put down in the comments or share this video if you know what I'm talking about. If you're in the industry and you know how bad this could be. We need to share it so that more truckers are not only able to save and not be a part of this and lose their truck to the bank, um, but also be able to go and buy the trucks from the truckers that weren't listening and be able to buy those and start even bigger companies. I, one of my greatest side hustles I ever did, and I talk about it uh, in my side hustle course, is the palm tree business during the Great Recession because people you know, started fixing up what they already had. So they started buying up palm trees and bamboo for me because they're fixing up their yards. But also I was buying tractors and trailers like crazy from construction companies because they were walking away from their business. They were selling the first tool, the piece of equipment that they could use to try and stay current on their bills. It was their, their most expensive equipment. But that was the equipment that was making the money. And I would buy it and I, was, I would resell it. I made tons and tons of money during the Great Recession. And so you can too. But the problem is you have to be ready ahead of time. All right, guys, I hope you got something out of this. If you're a trucker, please put down in the comments section what you're seeing on the front lines and please share this video out. All right, guys, that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.